Skywatch Media News for May the 13th, 2020. Last week, the American Meteor Society, which has been tracking meteor-type events for more than a century, reported a significant atmospheric explosion, followed a few minutes later by an immense booming sound occurring over Puget Sound, located in Washington State. The sonic-like boom originating from the sky was heard all across the Puget Sound as the meteor moved from west to east, eventually disappearing over northeast Seattle. One witness located in Bainbridge Island described the event as a Twitter wake-up call, further elaborating that there were rocks falling from the sky and creating loud booms, all taking place while in the middle of a health crisis. Another witness from Linwood described the booming sound as resembling a gas line explosion. A Mountain Lake Terrace witness referred to the event as the quarantine boom of 2020. A video capture from a CC camera located in Briar shows the meteor flashing by in the upper left hand of the image frame. This is followed three minutes later by the sonic boom caused by the meteor explosion. The fireball blast was most likely a random event, not associated with any meteor showers that are currently lighting up the skies around the world. The meteor sonic boom sent vibrations all across the region on the evening of May 6th. According to the American Meteor Society, the meteor event took place at an approximate altitude of about 30 miles, placing it in the upper cusp of the stratosphere. According to experts, hearing the sounds of an exploding meteor are extremely rare, stating that only one out of every 400 sightings involves the actual sound of a blast. Despite these odds, events such as these are becoming more commonplace in recent years. You may recall that back on March the 7th of 2018, a fireball and sonic boom was created when a space rock about 8 to 10 feet in length slammed into the Earth's atmosphere. The blast impact was widely seen, heard, and felt along the Washington coast. If that meteor had exploded over metropolitan Seattle, it more than likely would have caused damage to buildings, and would have led to a number of injuries. This particular meteor was the largest detected in the United States in the last 20 years. Astronomers from the University of Washington estimated that two tons of shattered rock survived the fiery plunge, where the meteorites impacted a half-mile swath of ocean about 16 miles off the Pacific coast. In late April, an Oregon skywatcher, attempting to capture lyrid meteors atop a bluff overlooking the Columbia River, spotted a fireball discharging a phenomenal bright aura. It turned out to be a meteorite explosion. The image, taken on April the 21st, was sent to the International Meteor Organization, displaying a double-bursting fireball indicating that the meteor had shattered twice as it entered the Earth's atmosphere. It was in the late fall of 2019 that a tremendous fireball was spotted falling from the sky, followed by an explosive noise over Polk County, located in northwestern Oregon. The late afternoon observation was first reported as a plane crash, but it was eventually determined that the mystery fireball was most likely a slow-moving meteor that left a trail of smoke in its wake. 
Fireballs are basically meteors that have a tendency to become much brighter than most of the celestial objects seen in our sky. This was evident from a ball of fire that passed over Liverpool, UK last week. The object was captured via mobile phone, leaving a trail across the late evening sky. Fireballs such as these are pieces of debris that enter the Earth's atmosphere at speeds up to 70 kilometers per second. As they disintegrate, they create streaks of light often seen as trails. NASA has indicated that the fireball observation over Liverpool on May the 7th could have been part of the Etna Akurid meteor shower that runs from April 19th to May 28th. This event is known to consist of pieces of debris from Halley's Comet, which is viewable from Earth every 76 years. The astronomical events of late may look spectacular from the standpoint of an eyewitness, but they are pale in comparison to events such as the one that occurred over the Bering Sea in December of 2018, when the Earth dodged a bullet from space. A hefty space rock barreled through the upper atmosphere, detonating with the power of a nuclear bomb over an area of the Bering Sea between Russia and Alaska. The blast occurred roughly 16 miles above the ocean and created a high-altitude airburst, equivalent to about 40% of the energy released by the Shelobinsk airburst of February 2013. It was not until mid-March of 2019 that NASA's Near-Earth Observation Program released the information pertaining to the airburst to the media and henceforth to the public. The late-breaking event was confirmed by U.S. Air Force satellites and the International Monitoring System, which described the event that took place on December the 18th, 2018. Slicing through the atmosphere at 71,500 miles per hour off the coast of Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula, the object generated an estimated 173 kilotons of energy, equivalent to 10 times the power of the atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima near the end of World War II. This was the scene as the object was captured by Japanese satellites over the Bering Strait in December of 2018. Much like the event that took place off the coast of Washington in March of 2018, the Bering Sea event, if it had occurred over land, would have produced enough ground-level shock to have damaged buildings. Although events like this are not life-threatening, they are a wake-up call. They help us understand what we're facing and how the population of space rocks will determine our future plans. We're at a tipping point right now, and the way in which we react to each new crisis when they occur will be judged by how well we have prepared ourselves. Have you seen the spirit in the sky? If not, then you are sure to be absolutely stunned by this incredible image of a weather phenomenon that resembles a figure in the sky. This past winter, a hiker walking the Momtor Hills in the British Peak District National Park, located in Derbyshire, England, captured the amazing image. This unusual sight is referred to as a broken specter, sometimes called a mountain specter. In order for the phenomenon to take place, there must be misty weather and a shadow. The broken specter is considered as a bizarre weather condition. The effect is produced when an individual stands above the upper surface of a cloud on an elevated surface with the sun behind them. When the shadow is viewed, the light is then reflected back in a strange circular appearance around the point directly opposite the sun. Not all anomalies can be easily explained, but this is one phenomenon that is not a mystery. 
One of the great envisionists of our time once quoted, Only when it is dark enough can you see the stars. This quote has much truth and meaning in today's world, for much like the stars in the night sky, we must travel through the darkness in order to see the beauty in life. Thanks for watching.